What's up everyone, photographer Ronix from Ronix Photographer and today's story is about how to color grade your images and how to get those beautiful skin tones in your portraits in Photoshop. And before I can go ahead, this image was taken by a photographer, it's called 20R Touches and I'm going to put his Instagram link in the description of this video so that you guys can check him out. He is an amazing portrait photographer and as you can see, this image already did frequency separation and I used the mixer brush tool and the lasso tool method because I love combining the two methods for my retouching. You can see this was the image initially before, after, before, after. And that's all I did for my retouching. I used the mixer brush tool in Photoshop and the lasso tool. And I used frequency separation. And if I told you, you would love to check out how I do edit my videos using frequency separation or how I edit my images using frequency separation, I'm going to put the link up here for the full tutorial of my editing of this specific image. So let's kick in and we start uh, retouching this image. So just come right down here and come to selective color. So when you come to selective color, usually the red channels, the red and yellow, yellow channels are usually for uh, the skin tone. So when you play around with these sliders, you'll get close to perfect skin tones for your images. So let's come to the red channel right here. And now when you slide this towards this side, you'll get more science in your skin and when you put it this side you'll get some little bit of uh, greens in your uh, skin so let's uh, slide this uh, slightly to around um, let's go in for around negative 10 so let's add in a little bit of yellow so when you pull the yellow slider towards uh, your right you'll be adding yellows and when you pull it towards your left you'll be adding magentas to uh, your skin tone so let's Add in a little bit of yellow to around three, and this can add a little bit of black to the red, so you can see what this does. So we are going to go in for around two, and now let's come to the magentas, and we are going to reduce on the magentas in this image to around negative eight. Let's see if, if we turn this down, you add greens, and you turn this up you add magenta so let's uh, put it to around negative eight so let's come to our yellow channel right here and uh, we reduce on the magentas in the yellow channel to around negative three and let's uh, you can see what this really does you can add science to the yellows and so let's add in a little bit of science to our yellows to negative six and let's add, add a little bit of black to our yellows. So I think that is fine. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to come to uh, the color balance right here. Just click on color balance and you'll get this. So uh, for this tutorial, you're going to only play around with the mid-tones. So you can see and add cyans or uh, reds or increase the reds in the mid-tones. So let's go with... Uh, a little bit of science and let's add in a little bit of magentas to the image to around negative three and let's can see if we can cool down or warm this image so let's uh, warm up the image a little bit so right now we are done with this you can see this is the before after there's no much difference and now let's come to yeah, this time around we are going to come to our brightness and contrast right here and we are going to use Liga so make sure you activate this so we are going to add a little bit of contrast to uh, our portrait to around 5 and now we are going to come to gradient maps as usual click on gradient maps then click on this color right here and now you get all these swatches or little color boxes and if at all you don't have all this, just click on this gear like icon and click on photographic toning and click on append and you'll get all this. So I'm going to cancel because I already have this. So we're going to select a color that is close to skin tones and I usually I prefer using Sapia Antique and click OK. Then come to the blending options and you're going to use soft light for this portrait. You can see right now the image is too warm. So we're going to come to the opacity and we're going to uh, reduce on the opacity of our portrait. So you can see before, after, before, after. And now if at all you feel your image is 
a tool just come click here and now come to a photo filter so when you come to photo filter you can either add a warm filter over the overall image or you can just if at all it is warm just come to cooling 82 and you can uh, cool it a little bit more so you're going to go in for around negative uh, five so this is fine for us so right now we're going to group everything we have done for our color grading ctrl g to see our before and after for our color grading you can see this was the image before and this is our image now before after before after so this is how you do color grade your images in photoshop and if at all you love this tutorial don't forget to uh, hit the like button and don't, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if at all you have landed on this video for the very first time from this channel and don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section i'm ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet another retouching tutorial on this channel